The observable universe is 93 billion light years wide, and we have no idea what's outside it. 68% of the universe is dark energy, a force we can't see stretching space apart faster and faster. 27% is dark matter, invisible mass holding galaxies together. And that last 5%? That's all the stuff we know. Planets, stars, puppies, pizza, and you. So let's ask the unaskable. What happens if you try to leave the universe? Someone builds a ship, not to visit planets, but to find the edge of reality itself. No fancy slingshots here. Our traveler launches using a fusion-powered torch drive, a theoretical engine burning helium-3 and deuterium at millions of degrees. Within months, they cross the heliopause, where the sun's magnetic influence ends. Then comes the Oort cloud, a frozen shell of icy debris, the last outpost of our solar system. Beyond that, nothing but starlight and silence. They've officially entered interstellar space. Now on to the Milky Way. The Milky Way isn't just big, it's massive. 400 billion stars across 100,000 light years. To cross it, our traveler activates a relativistic ramjet, a theoretical engine that scoops up hydrogen and uses it as fuel. They accelerate to 99.9999% the speed of light. Time slows for them. It's been years. Outside, billions of years pass. Galaxies shift. Stars die. The cosmos evolves in real time. They thread through the galactic disk, dodging collapsing stars and skirt Sagittarius A, the black hole at our galaxy's heart. Then they break free into the galactic halo, a sparse cloud of ancient stars and dark matter. Still, no wall, just more universe. Now they enter the cosmic web, a vast sponge-like structure where galaxies align in threads and clusters. Here, star formation is 20 to 30 times more intense than in today's Milky Way. Giant galaxy clusters glow like cities in the void. Dark energy pulls space apart faster than ever. But no matter how far they go, there's still no edge, no barrier, just more. They go faster than light, and instead of going farther, they go back, back in time. They pass 800 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies bloom in dusty clouds. 500 million, then 300 million years, the first stars ignite, small and fiercely hot. 50 million years, the Dark Ages. No stars, just cold, silent hydrogen. Two million years, the universe glows a deep red. 380,000 years, the cosmic microwave background, the first light ever freed. Beyond this, light itself can't travel. Space is filled with charged plasma. Physics begins to break down. Nowhere left to go. No physics left to follow. The traveler makes a final decision. They shed mass, collapse their quantum state, and re-emerge as a five-dimensional being, no longer bound by time, space, or particles. They now drift through the bulk, a higher dimensional space proposed by brain cosmology. Our universe, just one 3D membrane floating in a sea of others. From the bulk, they look back at our universe. If it's infinite, it has no edge. If it's finite, it might loop like a 4D torus. Think Pac-Man, go far enough in one direction you end up where you started. Current science suggests it's flat, but may be gently curved through higher dimensions. Still, no outside, only in. Desperate for answers, the traveler dives into the most extreme structures in existence. Attempt 1, a stellar mass black hole. Entry is chaos. At the center, they're ejected through a white hole into a universe that's twisted, similar, but off. Verdict, not outside, just elsewhere. Attempt number two, supermassive black hole, ton 618. Mass, 66 billion suns. Brightness, 100 trillion times the sun. Inside, eerily calm. At the core, a rupture in space-time. Not a wormhole, a door. They step through. Beyond lies the multiverse, an endless sea of bubble universes floating in the bulk. Some are made of light, some are already collapsing into black holes. Some are ruled by hyperintelligent species who cracked physics before our atoms even existed. 
some are completely blank, and some feel weirdly similar. But still, there's no wall, no final curtain, just more existence. Can it be done? Here's the truth. There's no edge to the universe, no cosmic wall you can punch through. Even if the universe is finite, it bends instead of ending. In other universes, they might exist, but reaching them requires breaking everything we know about reality. So, can you leave the universe? Not with rockets, not with warp drives, maybe not even with imagination, but in theory, yes, if you're willing to let go of what you means. If this journey through space and speculation blew your mind even a little, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the weirdest corners of the universe, and as always, stay curious.